Greetings, fellow Homo sapiens. I'm Mile, the young ambassador from HTM.space. For this assignment, I'm a STEM subject, but I'm not going to keep yapping on because I only have three minutes. For my STEM subject, I've chosen maths. For my sub subject, I've chosen geometry. And my sub sub subject is tessellations. Tessellations are an arrangement of shapes closely fitted together in a repeated pattern without gaps or overlapping. Here's an example of a tessellation. This is a regular tessellation as it only consists of one shape, a triangle. Here's another example, but this is an irregular tessellation because it consists of triangles, parallelograms and trapeziums. design and architecture, kind of like mosaics. They're also used in various pieces of Islamic architecture, most notable of which being the Alhambra in Granada, Spain. Here's an example of the tessellations there. Also, in nature, there's lots of examples of tessellations. For example, honeycomb, which is made up of loads of different hex hexagons. And also, snakeskin, whose scales tessellate together. In this section, I'll be talking about the holy grail of tessellation, the Einstein tiling. Search for the aperiodic monotile lasted a long 60 years, be it November 2022, is found by a retired engineer in Yorkshire, David Smith. If you don't know what an aperiodic monotile is, I don't blame you, because I didn't either. But now I do, so I'm going to explain it to you. This is the Einstein tile. It's a 13-sided shape. An aperiodic monotile is aperiodic, which means it's in, a, it's in a different state every single time. So it's a different rotation in terms of this example. It may look like some of the shapes are the same rotation, but in real life, I assure you, they're only slightly different. It's the exact same time, only in different states. So, on the internet, there's been quite a big debate. What does it look like? A top hat or a t-shirt? I'm personally on team t-shirt, but what do you think? Also, there's a similar shape. This is a similar shape to um, the Einstein tiling, but it's just slightly different as, well, it's a different and it's only been morphed slightly. Thank you for listening to my presentation. So, so well done to Mayo. You kept within the three minutes. We went slightly over, but I think that was because of your your technical issues. Um, so well done. Mayo, oh, he's disappeared. You can come back now. <laughs> <laughs> so now the judges are going to ask you some questions, Mayo. Who would like to go first? I'll go first because I'm a big fan of mathematics. Uh, what made you choose this particular topic? I can't hear you. What made you Am choose this mute? topic? No, you're not. I chose it. I chose it because yeah. um, I found it easy to explain. So why wouldn't you choose that? <laughs> not a bad response. Um, what kind of? How do you think maybe these tessellations could be used for for? Building and architecture. I think you might have mentioned it, but like, could you go in depth for all? Or is I, that not I put that, that in said? my script. I completely forgot to say it. I personally believe none of this will help, so let him go on the floor. I believe since they're all slightly different angles, it will um, help us uh, understand really small angles in the real world. Other than that, it's just good for um, bathroom floor tiling. Oh, it's an interesting shape. Yeah, interesting shape. Alex, is there anything you'd like to ask? 
Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, wow. What a great presentation. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. I mean, I, I love maths too. I mean, all the best Good people love maths, don't they? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you, you've said why you kind of chose the subject. I'm really interested in tessellation and tiles too. Have you heard of um, something called Penrose tiles? I've heard of the Penrose tiling, yeah. Yeah, so, as I, as I was reminded of Penrose. I think there's two different types of tiles. Yeah, two different, two different yeah. tiles. He has kind of in the shape of kind of a rose. Yeah, and he, so he has an aperiodic, aperiodic tiling as well, but I think he only managed it with two, whereas your Holy Grail is, is the one tile, isn't it? And yeah, yeah. One, one question I had, because I remember reading about this, and I thought to You're myself, oh, it's, it, the internet is not great. Yeah, so the internet is not great. How, how do we know that you showed us the tiles and you said they're all at different rotations, yeah? But how do we know that? I mean, can we prove it, or do we just have to kind of accept that? Or On the paper, I mean, it's not the same because... It's computer printed, but yeah. Uh, maths, angles, cool. trigonometry. That. So we, use, we use maths to prove it, yeah? Brilliant. Yeah. That's good With maths, me. it's not entirely what we can do what we want, but we use our own logic to understand that they're all slightly different angles, even if it's like a billionth of a degree. That's amazing. That's uh, it's impressive stuff. Well, thank you very much. And I really enjoyed your presentation. Congratulations. You. Cheers. Congratulations, my own. Well done.